I told you. I'm wasting my time here you, with you. Fuck. Don't touch me. I'm sick of you. I'm sick of this town, and so I'm going. What? You can't stop me. Sam, we have to do something. I told her the truth. I told her that I was investigating, and she came me an entomologist. Her nickname is Bug. Why is she? Why is everybody so damn aggressive? Little ASMR for y'all. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. We all didn't like Dennis, but I didn't like Terry even more. When it made sense, and Dennis was the one to die because he's kind of an instigator, an asshole. Not really an instigator, but just an asshole. So I get it. But who the hell killed him? This game is something else, man. These grapes are delicious. Welcome, welcome back. This is Hateful Games. I am Hateful J, and I am here for part three of Twin Mirror. Now, we know what happened last episode. If y'all was here, a few of y'all is watching. I love y'all. If y'all was here, y'all saw it. You know what I mean? Y'all saw what happened. But uh, we left off in... Dennis's office, which is the the basswood jungle or something like that, it's like a newspaper publication or magazine, something of the sort. But uh, we're gonna jump right back into it, man. Figure out what's going on, you know? Cause uh, I got I gotta know what's happening. Hopefully, my boy Sam ain't a murderer. If he is, so be it. I just met this dude, man. I don't care. Let's get into it. Hit the like, hit the sub, hit the bell, and let's go. Saw the dude run up on the computer. Uh, it's Mary Gardner, Frank Gardner. Going to be home very late tonight. Hmm. We need to make an asshole understand how the world really works. We won't be able to make burgers, but there's some waffles in the freezer and there should be some. Some what? Oh. Did I cut off right in the middle of that? Inbox. Uh, check this urgent joint. Emails between Nick and D. They're talking in codes. Didn't take a hair from Nothing again. stated clearly. They didn't want to risk anyone learning of their meetings. Smart. Someone was watching. Man, that's what he said. Uh, you think you know him? Whatever Nick was looking into seemed big, but he said it fizzled out. I can't really read this. Hey, Walt. Sorry to disappoint, but I decided to drop the story. It turned out I got a dead end after all. Better luck next time. I hope Nick Waldron, March twenty fifth. Dear Nicholas, I hope you had a pleasant trip. I mentioned last week that you were on the brink of a big story. Things on our side have been rather lackluster, I'm afraid. I was hoping maybe you would like to share with this old owl what you have in your sleeve, Walter Dotson. That touchy feely ass dude. I know you like Puzzle him. Comes together. Dennis was reading everyone's emails. Mm. He found out that Nick hadn't stopped his investigation like he'd told Walter. And the well, Nick already. was still talking to some informant. Then he decided to tell me. And now he's dead. So the man was murdered. I need to look through any notes Nick left in his office and check Walter's computer. They have to have something for me to go on. Nick must have left some notes behind somewhere. Walter also might have something on Nick's work. I should look around. What we got? <clears throat> Deserve this. No one deserves this. I mean, let's do something about it. 
you know. So Mrs. Walter's office here. How the hell would I know this? What's the name of this damn cat? Mm-hmm. There might be something around here that hits it's, at it's the cat, password. bro. Ew. It's the cat's name. Hold up. So I can't leave the screen? Ugh. My heart's desire. It could mean a person, but also a place. Bro, it's this fucking cat. Walter was never tech savvy. He just uses words that mean something to him. There's a good chance there's a clue in his office. Walter had this article framed after he saw the boost in traffic. Watch me be wrong. God. I'm always wrong when the camera is blood and soul. It wouldn't surprise me if he said it as his password. Mmm. That's too easy. Reminders, nothing that could be used as okay, a password. Okay, bro. Why you always gotta like? Damn, so negative, bro. Like, you made me feel bad about every decision. Nah, nigga, she you used can't to be use the office that. Administrator Jesus. ages ago. Okay, what else we got? Nothing. Let's check the room. Let's check the room. He loves all his first editions, but Alice in Wonderland always came out on top. Wouldn't be surprised if that was his password. Alice? Anna, Alice, Basswood. Oh, here we go. Y'all can read this. Just pause and read it. You know what I'm saying? That wasn't important, though. I'm going to let you know. Right now. But then again, you never know. It's this cat. Prin never looked happy a day in her life. Been Walter's cat for years. Prin. Maybe he said her yep. name is his password. I'm going for that right now. Can I just spell that again? Oh, shit, give you selection. Let's go. That's not it. I have to keep Dang. looking. That's not it. I have to keep All looking. Right, I ain't gonna guess again. Let me see what else we got. The ink spots. Is Granddad Rock a thing? If so, Walter and Anna are both into it. Granddad Rock? For sure it is. Is it Mom? Is it his mama? Costa Rica? Walter's mom gets out more than he does. Nah, oh, he's a grown-ass man. Good for Walter that Judith is doing all right. She means the world to him. So much so that she could be his password. Uh, is Walter gonna put me wrong when it's actually a chick? You're like one of them cat guys, you know what I mean? Like you just need his cat and that's it. That's not it, I have to keep looking. Did I already try everything? 
It's literally. Yeah, God, it was literally the first clue, the most obvious thing, bro. Okay. All right. For Walter Dodson to Best Mitchell, I wanted to help extend my greatest. I wanted to. Why does he help? I see help at the top. I wanted to extend my greatest thanks again for your help. You are a scholar and a saint. It looks like I was worried unnecessarily regardless. Thank you for putting my mind at ease, Walter Dodson. April 4th. Here's a report on Nick's crash. I haven't asked for one of these in a while. Nothing all that interesting here. Just another sad day by the roadside. West Virginia roads take more good sons than guns do. Damn. Was that true, West Virginia people? Hmm. Mostly standard mm. so far. There's a file to open. The book. I see why Walter wasn't worried. Car found against a tree surrounded by debris. Okay. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Nick would never drive without his seatbelt on. Mm -mm. And he always kept his window open. Hmm. Okay, so. It's clear that they're covering up Nick's death somehow. Okay, airbag is deployed. Seatbelt was not on windows. Not on when windows are rolled up. Driver probably drunk and forgot the belt. Sam just said he didn't drive without his seatbelt. Fire burned out a small area around the car. People make mistakes, though. The fire burned out a small area around the car, but did not spread. That's weird to me. That's That says gasoline or something. But it's gasoline in the car, but still, it would be... I don't know. I feel like that would be different. Unknown the driver was alive at the time of the crash, but if so, did not survive the fire. Oh, I'm pretty sure they can tell that in forensics, right? Blunt force trauma, smoke inhalation, or burns are all possible causes of death. Hmm. <clears throat> A car really burned, though that's very uncommon in most crashes. Yeah, it is. You don't even like hit that hard either. Hmm. So, Walter got the police report from Bess. Nick was supposedly drunk at the wheel, which doesn't sound like him. Mm -hmm. And his seatbelt was off and his windows up, which both sound very wrong. Walter seemed to buy it, but I don't know if I do. Yeah, Walter ran on it, though. I think it's time I check Nick's office. Hope he still leaves his notes out. Well, you would think, man, if they cover enough of something this this shit is gonna be cleaned out you know let's check the desk first Nick's computer is missing took it home to work or probably stolen probably in the trash bro the only thing she cared about then was looking at bugs and drawing them I'm taking this Yep. Nick wouldn't mind if I kept this for old time's sake. It's a wonderful memory, man. Why not take that? It just makes sense to me. I'm just saying. If I had the code, I could get in here. What is this random? Does that say 3121? Four digits. Wonder if that's the new code for the archives. Yep, that's it. And they drew it right there. The dumbest shit I ever saw in my life. Let's go. Oh my god. Something like 10,000 combinations, I doubt I'll stumble on it. What the hell? Come on. Thanks. 
Let's Fuck. go. Your obsessive snooping pays off. Nick always kept extensive records of his work. He was almost obsessive. How could there be so little information regarding his last investigation? Cause, bro, you know why. Nick was looking into the impact the closure of the mine had on Basswood. Of course. What was he looking for? An appointment skyrocket after the mine closed. Very normal, flattened down the last year or so on the rebound. Trend, oh, look, numbers looking good. Trend on outlier, need more data points. Nick Waldron, West Virginia to Florida, train 254. 127 APM with D the D twitchy guy. Tennis. Oh not tennis. Dennis, obviously. Uh 212, 5 p.m. second meeting with D. This is actually something to show me. He's not full of crap. Always wants to meet in spooky spots. 318, 10 a.m. with D. Had to buy him breakfast and he said he couldn't meet anymore. Seems like a dead end. 4-1. Thought I lost him. Glad he's open to talk to me. So they was in cahoots. Not really in cahoots, but, you know, cahoots. Nick had a contact. Same name as in the email. He was onto something big. Yep. Nick was traveling all over. Train tickets, hotel bills, out of state even. He was tracking something, or someone. Nick was looking into the impact the closure of the mine had on Basswood. I had to read them all. What was he looking for? I get all the clues. What Nick was looking into was something big and dangerous. It's why he was so careful. You weren't careful enough, man. Sam, I'm telling you, bro. You need to be careful. You out here just. You being super cop. You ain't even. Oh, bro. So, this nigga. Did you come to the logical conclusion to this mess we're in? I ain't gonna lie, buddy scared me a little bit. Just a hint. We should get out of town immediately. Mm. Nick was in over his head. He tried to tell me something. Dennis tried to talk to me about Nick, and that's what got him killed. Exactly. Like I said, you should get out of town. And the details of Nick's death, it doesn't sound like him. Two years is a long time, Sam. He may have changed more than you know. Changed decade-long habits? I need to go to the crash site. Just remember, if you're right... Sam? What's happening? Dennis. Oh, what shit. Dennis? What happened? Is he... Anna? I is listen. he... Sam, bro. I didn't kill him. Anna, I did not kill Dennis. Oh my god, no. It's... How could this happen? He died last night. Hours ago. Not much we can do right now. He asked me to meet him here after, but I was so drunk I arrived late. And the person that actually showed up killed him. Mm. Your bloody shirt was clearly from this. That means you were here yesterday. It links you to the crime scene. And you've been running around town all morning asking about Dennis. So you're gonna you gonna help or not? Good. I mean you gonna We need to call the police. No, They'll think I no, 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 no. I thought I did it first. I have no alibi. This is not about you. Dennis had a family. They have to know what happened. It's the right thing hey, to Hey, lady, Dennis dead. I'm just saying. find his body come Monday? She has a point. Someone is going to find him eventually. Involving the police would only slow us down. Facts. Be more efficient on my own. Efficient and possibly friendless. You've already trusted Anna once. I suggest you keep on that road. Oh, no, she did start it. Man, I don't want to get the cops involved. Ah. What should I do, y'all? Damn. I said it like this is live. I did trust her once. But the cops ain't there. You know what I mean? That's different. When you and you got to try to involve everybody else. Nah, leave him out of it. Anna, no. 
They'll want to interrogate me and we'll never find out who did this. What's wrong with you? How could you be it so ain't cold? cold? We can't make him not dead. What we do now will decide if we can find out what really happened. Trust me. I'm not comfortable with this. But if you insist, we'll just leave him. Also, I think whoever did this might be linked to Nick's accident. This is about Nick? The crash? What you think it's about? I'm going to the crash site to confirm my suspicions. Sam, I'm not... I'm not sure this is a good idea, going on your own like that. Mm. Ah, come on. Come on. I'd like you to come with me. She probably ain't Whatever do it, I find, I don't want to face it alone. Let's go to the crash site. We don't have a second oh, to Oh, damn. Bro, this game is just... It's telling me I'm wrong a thousand times in a row. Here we are. It barely looks like anything happened. It's been a week, but we'll find something. I know we will. After a week, Is it okay possible. if I stay here? I don't think I'm ready to... Sure. I doubt I'll be good company anyway. You mean you're over-focused to the point of non-reactive thing? I remember. Especially how you always end up being right somehow. Hmm. I hope. I don't know what I'm hoping for. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, I just need to relax. That's the thing. This is the place. Let's do this, bro. Let's figure it out. Nick, I'll get to the bottom of this. First, gather the clues. Cold, hard, mm. plain facts. Mm. That's the only way I'll know what really so happened. Hey, job in about night, seven thirty in the morning. It was early, but I've been up all night. I ain't even sleep yet. Maybe Nick tried to avoid this log. It's a bit far from the road. It is, it is. That piece of wood must be from one of the damaged road signs. Okay. No skid marks. No trace of sudden breaking. Hmm. So she was pushed down there? The tire tracks clearly show where Nick's car went off the road. Where are you? They pushed his car off the road, bro. Two of the road signs were torn out. Did Nick's car do that? Uh, no, nah, it wouldn't be skid marks if he just rolled straight through that shit, though, but... Still feel like that mean he pushed him, cause how, eh. The fire shouldn't have been able to spread that far. Hmm. These road signs are intact. Not a scratch on them. Okay, what else we got? That's it. Going down here? Okay. Car went up like kindling. It was pretty intense, judging the damages to the it's air. gasoline, bro. That's why I was all the way up there because they did the, the movie where you pour it on the thing and you make a trail, you light the trail, and it follows and blows stuff up. So you ain't gotta risk hurting yourself. The bark got badly burnt. Must be where Nick crashed. Is there anything else over here before I go back up? Oh, this damn man, look at detail. What's this? Okay. Debris from Nick's car. The police didn't clean up very well. Why is that, I wonder? Is there a reason for that? Everybody in on this 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 Nick murdering? Can I think of this way? An animal came through here. Maybe that's what surprised Nick. 
but the tracks don't reach the road. No, sir. No animal gonna make nobody do all that. Me yeah, could. I'm a fox. I'm gonna just run a motherfucker over. It's like people do deer. A fuel stain. From Nick's car? <clears throat> Was it leaking fuel? Mm. There we go. Nick took this turn every day. It shouldn't have surprised him. Well, we got them all. What the? That's all the information I need. Time to put everything together. Let's do this. I like this. Investigation. The report states Nick was driving under the influence of alcohol. Right. He was startled by an animal. Lies. And drove through a road sign before crashing into a tree. Man, that's not gonna cause your car to fucking go up in flames. Things don't add up. Yeah, don't. I don't think that's. Yeah. But what happened? What happened, guys? Yeah, because what's up with the fuel, bro? Leaking fuel. Drunk. Unconscious. about this animal. Tree log, what was that tree log at? Can't remember. Yes, sir. the damn thing be leaking fuel. Yeah. What if it's not linked? What if the leaking fuel was not linked to this? It gotta be because it was fuel stains down there on the thing. Okay. Unless it was brake fuel, and he was conscious, but he couldn't hit his brakes. Somebody cut his brake line. Did we establish it was gasoline? Oh my god. How could the signs have burned during the crash then? But it was on fire already, man. Duh. Only one simulation fits the evidence. The police report was wrong.
forgot all about the fire, bro. I would've got that shit first try. Did your boy dirty, Sam? I did it real bad, bro. It's ugly. Same people killed the homie Dennis. Same people gonna come after you if you don't get your ass out of there. They might kill Nick's wife, man. Like, everybody's a victim. I thought you quit. I did. Time's been hard. You know what I'm saying? So, did you find anything? Nick, he was murdered. I'm sorry, I don't... The police report was clearly wrong. Fucking... Anna? Here, just... Who Joe, it's it? Sam. Where's Anna? Is she okay? Yeah, she's right here. She's just a bit busy. I need her to come back immediately. There's been a break in at her place. What? Are you alright? What happened? They're coming at you. There when it happened. Just arrived. Called the police, then called my daughter. We're on our way. Someone broke into your house. We'll get all y'all, bro. That's the plan. I'm trying to get everybody clapped as soon as possible. Okay, so, about Dad. Don't tell him what we found. Please, it'd just worry him for no reason. How are you holding up? After finding out what we found out. I'm guessing about as well as you. Not great. Let me go calm my father down. I'm pretty sure he's ready to call the National Guard. Anna, maybe give her a few moments with Joe before you barge in. Also, take a few moments for yourself, as well. For what? You used to live here, and now, some other guy, Nick, of all people, was living here. Well, Nick did, bro. With her. We, we can get past different. these things. She's different. You're different. I got it, bro. I think I can <clears throat> handle this. Hopefully. Got it, bro. Keep in mind, Sam, no matter how much you want to, you can never go home again. Sam, we gotta stop letting yourself talk to yourself like that, bro. You gotta be more confident, man. The last yourself time I was here, yourself, I was shoving asshole. way too many boxes into a trunk that couldn't fit them all. It's, it's fine, Dad. I can handle this. Someone broke into my daughter's house and you want me to just sit by and wait? Yes, that is exactly what I want you to do. Don't you have an appointment? I always have an appointment. Hmm. The doctor's more often than I'm home. Sam, talk yeah, some sense to my that. daughter here. Yeah. You know, Anna, Joe's pretty sharp for an old man who can't walk. That's right. And Sam here's got a good mind for a fool-headed kid. Fool-headed. <laughs> Dad, I love you. And I love that you want to protect me, but please, it'll be okay. Go to your doctor's Boy, appointment. He look angry the police will be here. Shit. Soon. And this was Air Max 95s? This belly aching. It's your house. Your rules. I'll leave you to it. Thank you. I swear he has some Air Max 95s. Well, before on. I head off, Sam. Oh, jeez. Tell me if something was going on, right? Anna's brave and she's strong, but she's also stubborn. Dad, I told you I can take care of myself. And I'm old enough to know when things ain't right. Hmm. You tell me now, Sam. 
You tell me if my little girl is in danger. Now, am I telling? I can't watch over her anymore, so I need you to keep her safe. Stop talking about me like I'm not here. Joe, I don't know. Should She's I... all I have. Girl, your dad has been respect. Promise me you'll protect her. I need your word. Wow. Heavy. Joe's really laying on the paternal guilt. I can't promise something like that. I don't know what might happen. He just wants to feel like someone is looking out for her. I can't blame him. And what if I can't keep that promise? Then refuse. All I know is I personally couldn't say no to a desperate father. Oh man, you know I promise, bro. I still can't hide anything from you. Sam, don't. I won't lie, Joe. There is something going yeah, on. Yeah, come on, man. It could be dangerous, but I'll make sure Anna doesn't get mixed up in it. All right. I'm glad I heard lying to your this. daddy. And you never know. I need some to know. Kid. I decide what I get mixed up in. You can't blame me for looking at you. Sure, okay. I just didn't want you to worry. <sighs> You're both so patronizing. I'm heading inside. Are you a Stay jackass? Man, you wear yellow headbands all day, every day. That's just terrible. I need to get in there eventually. Yo. But maybe. I've been up all night editing, guys, and recording. I'm gonna take a, a Niz app and I'm gonna jump right back. Like, I ain't in the episode. I'm gonna come right back. Might have a different hoodie on. Might have the same hoodie. Don't matter. Like, we'll see y'all in a second. Much, much, much later. Almost 24 hours later, I'm back. I mean, it was 420. It was like, ooh, 420. Hold up. All right, we back. Um, we left off. We went to Anna, Anna's house. Talk to her dad, Joe. You know, um, yeah, y'all was just watching it. What am I doing? This ain't a new episode. Let's go. Vehicle tracks. We can't look at these. Can't do nothing with them. All right. Shit, do we gotta investigate the grounds? There's a lot of investigation. Can't go that way. Gotta check the scene, man. It's Bugs. <clears throat> she probably brought it over one time when she came with Nick. Hmm. It was great to come back from work, sit down, and read until the sun until went down. Until the sun went down. Anna and I spend our nights out here, trying to find all the constellations. Bro, you ain't never getting her back now. She don't want to be with no possible murderer, bro. She don't believe you. I don't think she believe you like that. I'm not fucking with that. Let's see what's happening. Shattered glass. This is how whoever it was broke into the house. Let's figure it out, Sam. We got investigation on investigations here, y'all. It's always something to figure out, huh? I gotta excuse me, the sound is a little louder, a little lower. You know, separate recording, man. I might not get it perfect. But everything should be about the same, you know? not well this time at least try to be there for I swear him. I forget this dude is in my head so just in my head sometimes he'd be popping up random he don't really play no significant role in nothing he just be there saying Anna. random having random influences and are you you okay I'm gonna go out on a limb and say no She needs you, buddy. Needs me? I don't even think she knows I'm here. What am I supposed to do? Something. Anything. It's the thought. 
the effort. You ain't never had to comfort nobody? Get her a drink. Just show her you're here. I'm not sure how a drink will make her feel better about murders and break-ins. It won't. But I guess I've heard worse ideas. Give it a shot. You gotta do something. You can't stand her being awkward. She kept the drinks in the kitchen in one of the pantries. Look at this man sitting down like he is actually here. I'm not, I'm not feeling dude, bro. Okay. Yeah, somebody towed this room up. Let's see what we got. Hannah always was more interested in people than cold hard facts. They looking for something, bro. They are looking. Not surprised Anna keeps this letter. I'd keep it too. I'm gonna put it up there so y'all can pause and read it. Mm-hmm. Oh. Word. Damn. Y'all got it? Alright. Yeah, I can skim read, man. I, I, I pretty much got that shit. It's, it's all good. Um. What else we got over here? Anna has well, no, I'm finishing my thought. That out with these. I'm not sure it's enough. I think, uh... Anna always wanted to take me to concerts. It's the same people that killed Nick. It's never my thing. Same people that killed Dennis. And they trying to they trying to find some more dirt. Or Anna might know more than what she leading on. But let's let's do this mind palace. What we got, Sam? What you what you remembering, dog? It's like you got fucking hair all over my face, bro. Sam, what are you doing? Let's go back on this side. I saw it over here. Man, what the hell? Why didn't lighting up? Wow. Sam, what are you doing? I called for dinner like a dozen times. It's gonna get cold. I am not your mom, you know. Say something. Damn. Working on an article is no reason to ignore basic politeness, Sam. Big facts. Fine. You can eat your dinner cold for all I care. I'm done waiting for you. Yo, what are you typing is so important that you just blatantly ignoring your lady, bro? With the dude in your head still there watching. So we get these drinks. Can I go upstairs? I know you want to help her by finding out what happened. Right now, though, stay focused on Anna. She needs to know she's not alone. Bro, I'm just trying to go take a PP and, and you know, see see what's happening. How you there and there? Why you everywhere in my business? What is your name? His name is him. Making a drink for Anna would be a good way to show her you're yeah, here for. Oh, her. Shut up. The pantry. She normally keeps some drinks in the pantry. It's been a while, Sam. Things have changed around here. Bro, she got your shit in the closet still. You feel like looking at old keepsakes? No. <clears throat> About to say the same thing. No, sir. No drinks in here. I expect it to be, bro. I just wanted to look around. Pretty shoddy in the fridge. She's not gonna want something cold. Always said cold drinks are for parties. This game, bro. Even when he messed up, Nick always found the right words. Sorry about yesterday, I've been distant. Things been pretty messy regularly. You don't have to forgive me if you'd like to write me a concert, blah, blah, blah. Concert tickets. The placeholders. The placeholders. Okay, so where are these drinks at? 
We call this joint a closet. Look at that cabinet. What the hell? Ah, here's where she keeps the drinks. Man, let's get this whiskey done. Nobody want no chocolate milk. On the bright side, I don't think it's possible to make her feel worse. Chocolate milk. You're not helping. Chocolate milk can make somebody happy though. But not like you know. You need, you need. Yes, I am. Need some hard for these situations. Yes. Don't drink and drive, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Thanks. It's a terrible idea. So did I make the drink? <laughs> Who takes the time to have a drink in the middle of a break-in? A boozy burglar? Here, might take the edge off. That's sweet. I'd assumed you'd already gone to look around and, I don't know think this is just this is just so fucked Nick my house Sam you should distract her get her talking or thinking about anything else my stuff everything is trashed is this like the worst coincidence I think it's real or is it related to Nick's death did his murderer break into my house you're not alone here, have a drink. It'll help. Yeah, don't spin out. Don't spin out. Ain't no, ain't no point in spinning out. You're gonna lose your damn mind. Have a drink, then we can talk about it. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. It's helping a bit. And that children is called alcoholism. I'm just playing. Hey, are you feeling better? Take a lot more than one drink. Yeah. Thank you, Sam. Sorry, I just kind of. Lost it for a second there. Yeah, I mean, careful, Sam. You know you can be indelicate. She needs your support right now. I mean, it hasn't been an easy week, you know? Facts. And I've got the feeling it isn't over yet. Hmm. I'm here for you, it's gonna be okay. I'm here for you. Whatever happens, you're not alone. You gotta make the right decision, we'll huh? together. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I needed to hear I know that. you did. Reminding her she has people to lean on is a great start. This whole thing is a mess. But honestly, it's been a mess for a while. Like, everything was fine, you know? Nick moved in. It was nice, but lately he just closed himself off. He'd been gone most nights. He knew it was some shit going the on. Bar or the fishing shack, come home late, refusing to talk about his work. It got unbearable. It was almost like I was living with you all over again. He's probably trying to keep you safe. I don't know what Sam's problem it is. It doesn't we don't... feel good, but she needs to get this off her chest. We don't know much about Sam. Don't be too harsh on For her. For real. Right now, we know more about everybody else than Sam. Uh, we're both to blame. I do have my part of responsibility in this, but so do you. I know that. But you'd shut me out. Then suddenly you'd ambush me emotionally. Look, I'm not trying to put you on the spot. I'm, I'm not trying to fight. It's just having you in the house. It's, it's bringing back a lot of things. We had a good time. So many memories here, both bad and great. We did have a good time, yeah. Hmm. But then came Dad's accident. The mine investigation. Your proposal. I still feel horrible about how it all happened. But you... You understand why I said no, right? My bad, y'all gotta listen. Time was off, I didn't listen to you. I'm gonna say the time was off, because I don't know. I know, the timing wasn't great. Your dad's accident, the mine well, investigation, damn, you know what? me being we just saw a memory. Basswood. That's, that's not why I said no. You knew I didn't want to get married. I sh I should have clicked. Didn't want to. I didn't listen to you. Off rip. 
Not with, not because of what she about to say, but in the memory it showed this man typing. Like and he wasn't saying nothing. You know what I mean? He ain't want no dinner. Like so. But whatever, y'all. Like Y'all finish? Cool. I told you before, I I never liked the idea. Never wanted a ring. When you asked, I just I just thought I was with someone who didn't know me. That terrified me. And then... It ended so abruptly, you and I. I don't think I ever took the time to really process what happened. I wonder if it would have ended the same way with Nick. If my relationship with him was as doomed as my relationship with you. The now Nick both so damn off to negative, the last though. Few weeks. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I can't bear to live with someone to truly share my life, to make compromises and all that. You want what you want, though. Sometimes we compromise too much. And if you weren't even listening to you, I'm going to say it wasn't doomed. It wasn't doomed. It's just like every relationship. It requires a lot of work from everyone involved. Facts. Whether people are ready to put in the work, well, that's different. I think we weren't. Not really. At least I wasn't. Good to see you realized that. There you go, Sam. Maybe. We were... We were younger. Different. It feels like a lifetime has passed. It doesn't matter anyway, now does it? He's dead, and... Whatever we had is done. And we're on our own if we're gonna find out who killed him. Mm. I'm not backing down from this. No matter what we find. What about you? Yeah, I mean. Need to clear my name. I'm not leaving you alone. Of course. I'm going to say of course. Because I'm not about to keep. I want to know who killed Nick as much as I'm not as about you. to keep hitting on her. Let's or making it seem like I like her. Behind bars. It's the only thing we can do for Nick now. It didn't work the first time. Let's keep it moving. Terrified to angry. That is very understandable. Can you take a look upstairs? I still need a moment. Yeah, I'm gonna take a look Let upstairs. Make sure I'm done crying and all that. I don't know if y'all can hear, but I'm constantly hearing some take thumping in the background. I'll tell you if anything's wrong. Like something moving around in the house. Thanks, Sam. It's the Astros, baby. The Astros. I got achievement for not talking to dude. That's easy because I hate talking to him. I remember taking this photo, not seeing it like this. Not what Anna needed. Well, that's a good ass pic to her and her dad. Where we at? It looks like Jones using this room now. It's not your standard thief. Too destructive. Oh, maybe trying to send a message. Uh oh, we got a mind joint. Where are we going, Sam? What you got? What you trying to work? Sam, get your ass up. No, I'm not. <laughs> then how are you this man. I'm a celebrated sleep doctor. Celebrate it. Come on, get up. I need your help. Did you try rebooting it? That's honestly all I got. I have tried that. If I don't get this done by noon, Walter won't run the. How about to Google it? What do I YouTube do? that shit. Okay, okay. Let me see it. That'll help. I'm telling you. Thank you. Just YouTube it. it just won't respond to anything. Do you want a back rub while you work? As your hero, it's the least you could do. I'll do more than that. No, she was bad before, bro. Why oh, she? Why will. they got her all looking all ashy and hungry Type now? Business. Of course. When you fix it. Sure, I'll ask you how hungry looking now, right? I guess it's the sadness though. Let me let me stop being an asshole. 
This used to be her old bed. I can't help it. First thing she bought when she settled in. It's a nice size, size bed though for a kid. What are you doing? Mr. Unicorn. You Mr. Unicorny? <sighs> Mr. Unicorny. Well, you and Joan have been inseparable since the day she was born. Got the A, corrected teacher. the teacher, but still forgot the date. Mm. At least she got an A, though. What you talking about? The A is way more important than all that extra shit. Why not just do 360 spin? The door is closed. Huh. She never used to. Where's lock. Joe, man? Can he not come in? Hear that music? Watch your back. As if her week wasn't bad enough. Oh, uh, I told y'all. I should erase it. But then the police wouldn't get the burglar's handwriting. Kind of like a lady's handwriting too. I'm, I'm gonna Why take. Is it so dark in here. Probably because the blinds closed, nigga. What you mean? Why is it so dark in here? I don't know, Sam. Maybe because the blinds are so different now. It felt like mine once, but it never was. No, sir. Cause she in love with the crew. She in love with the crew. Let's see. Let's see. Transfer in progress. What we got? Huh? Is someone downloading something off Nick's laptop? Oh, somebody's still in the house? What we got going on? What are you doing? Yo, and I meant to say, just because I just, I just know who I saw in the back. I'm gonna say it after they show him. I'm gonna say it after they show him because I made a mistake. I was editing the first half of the video and I made a mistake. I want to clear it up. Because I know that's him. Of course they don't show him. Was there an action command that I missed? I hope not. Sam. Sam. Who was that? Sam. Are you okay? Uh, I think I'm gonna say it since they ain't showing. Remember the little twitchy dude that was talking shit? Um. At the pharmacy. You move. I'm the one coming in. Earlier in this video, I said something about the file found on Walter's computer about a D twitchy guy. That's who it is. It's not Dennis. The D is not for Dennis. I don't know what the D stand for though. But twitchy guy has got to be that dude. Let's go. Whoever trashed your house just trashed me. Can you stand? Yeah. Yeah. The headache isn't as bad as the one I had this morning. I couldn't get a good look at them. They just sprinted out of the house. Bro, I hope I, I didn't miss an excrement right in my mouth. Well, whoever it was, they were dumping data off Nick's computer. I must have interrupted them. There's no trace of whatever he took. So what do we even do now? Find Nick's secrets. Find a man who conked me. Uh, we don't know who conked China way to find him. Let's find a backup files. We need Nick's backups if he has any did he ever do anything like that boxes in the attic files to the cloud another computer did he have anywhere besides here and the basswood jungle he kept things no no i don't i don't think so i i don't actually over the last few months remember i mentioned nick has been going out a lot to that old fishing shack his family if, has. It's, if it's important you know, he got backups I went there with Nick and Bug a few times. He went mostly in the evenings. Most nights, really. Said he was night fishing. But if he was secretly using it as a second office... It'd be worth taking a look. Hello? 
Your father called. Said there'd been a break-in. Oh. Couldn't they have gotten here two minutes ago? They'll arrest me if they found Dennis's body. You go out the back. I'll talk to Bess and keep her busy. They're not scared of shit out of me. Sure. I'll go to the fishing Headphones, boy. It sounds like if Nick was hiding something, it might be there. Sorry. I was just in the bathroom. Be right out. Go. Nick's fishing shack. Nick's fishing shack. A lot of memories here. Good memories. Anna said he'd been sneaking off here to work on something. I almost hope I don't find anything. Nick, what were you up to? This might be a long video, y'all. It's already at least an hour right now. I don't give a damn. We about to have fun with this. Bug? Muley? Bug, you... what are you doing? Does my mom know? Does your mom know what? What is yeah, what this? What is this? Mom doesn't know. Good. I've decided to leave town. What? Bug, that's... This is not a good idea. I've got food for five days. I'll hitchhike and bike down to Virginia. What the hell is five days gonna do for you? Do you have any idea how far that is? About 80 miles to get down to my Aunt Lisa. My mom hates her. Don't try to stop me. You can't leave like this. Not without telling anyone. Yeah, you tripping. <laughs> oh, yeah? Why not? That's what you did. You damn kid. Yeah. She's serious about Grown this. Grown-ass man. Careful, Sam. This is not a drill. Here we go. Make decisions. Maybe try to bring up her mother again. Is everything okay at home? Is there something wrong with your mom? No. I'm running away because things are so great. Plus, I know what she'll say. Calm down. Think of the common good. She doesn't do anything. Just sits around, takes her back pain pills, and stares at the TV like a lump. Mm. To my Kathy. Well, that was a miss. When it comes to this kid, your instinct is better than mine. The mother, though, we should have a talk with her later. If you just leave me alone, you know, Look, I'll be fine. I'm not a child anymore. I'm not asking for your permission. There's nothing for me here. You are a child. Can't always count on you because you left. Don't make the mistake I made. Uh. Leaving is going to hurt the people you care about the most. The way I left was selfish. I don't know about that. You're not selfish. The Joan I knew couldn't even hurt a worm. Let alone her own mother. I... It's not like I want to hurt her. She just works all the time, and then she's too out of it. And never listens to me. Hmm. I think I'm done depending on others. My dad I could rely on. But he's gone. She hurt, man. There's nothing else for me around here. She hurt and her mom detached emotionally. I was wrong yesterday. She's not in denial. She's scared. Something terrible happened to him, but no one listens to me. No one cares. Bro, tell her you know what's up. I care. I believe you, and I'm investigating like you asked. <laughs> yeah, I know about the wake. You approached a few people, but you dropped it as soon as it got uncomfortable. Lies. Anyway, it's not like I expected any different. Lies, we've been on a job. This place is full of gutless patronizing adults. Bug, come on, man. We've been fine. of this dumb little town. It's choking me, and I need fresh air. Where are you I like? I need some place I can think. Not here. Where are you like, 12? Sounds like Basswood really failed this kid. I mean, what am I supposed to do tomorrow? Or the day after, in ten years. We talked about this. You could be a journalist, something with insects. Fuck, bro. Cause you don't know what he's gonna say. Let's let's. Mm. You like insects? How about someone who studies them? Would you like to be an entomologist? Go around the world, collecting bugs. You remember? Let's go. Yeah, 
Bugs are cool. God dang, boy. That does well, give, give me some, give me something you good. Basswood that way, but you can't do it without finishing school. It won't be easy, but it's better than just wandering out in the dark. Focus yourself on your goals. I know your father would be proud of that. Talk that shit, Sam. You're just telling me what I want. Be to a role hear. model. Or what you think what? I want to hear. What? Wait a minute. I just want the truth for once from someone. I told you. I'm wasting my time here you with you. Bug. Don't touch me. I'm sick of you. I'm sick of this town. And so I'm going. What? You can't stop me. Sam, we have to do something. I told her the truth. I told her that I was investigating and she can't be an entomologist. Her nickname is Bug. Why is she why is everybody so damn aggressive? She just wants honesty. This little ten year old care about bullshit. I can relate to that. I'll tell her what we found out about Nick's death. You can't do that. It was kind of bullshit. The adult, she's the, fuck, the child. Bro? Do you want her to start looking for the people who killed her father by herself? Do the responsible thing. Make her stay. It's for her own good. I'm not gonna threaten to call her mama, man. I just don't like that. I just... Fuck. You know what? For the, for the, for the content, let's see. Let's... Come on, man. Bug. Your father didn't die in that crash. Someone killed him and covered it up. Made it look like an accident. Now, I don't know who did it yet or why. That's why I came here. That was maybe too much, Sam. She's a kid. What am I supposed to say, bro? I was right. Get out of my face! You were <sighs> These right. people, man. I need you to not tell anyone, though. I won't. I won't tell anyone. Not even my And mom. I need you to stay at home. I will. I'm gonna go home right now. That shit worked, man. I don't care. She going home. Thank you. And she feel better about everything. She gonna have fucking nightmares and regret it tomorrow. Whatever, man. I don't know if that was a good idea. Bro, if you don't shut. But hey, it worked. He's, he's just Sam with glasses. Now and that I've kept your daughter from skipping town. He's Sam with the glasses. Let's see if you've kept anything hidden out here, Nick. And a different haircut. And shave face. That's what it kind of looked like. Damn, bro. This man be like, you should do this. I don't know if that was a good idea. That was too much, but you shut up. about how hunting was cruel. How much did you change, Nick? People changed, huh? Back when Nick and Kathy were college sweethearts. <laughs> Clearly, Bug was there, too. She been around for a minute. Joan always liked Bugs. Okay, let's get him out of there. Hunt trophy. So these fishing rods. This is where he kept the rods he'd loan out. So what's his favorite rod doing here? He always kept it separate. Mm -hmm. Locked. Nick always kept a spare key. It'd be somewhere out of Bugs' reach. Of course. We knew, we knew that was going to be locked. Possible hiding spot. Any more of those? Look right here. What we got? No keys. It's also not the best place if you wanted him to. Nothing here. Probably too high and hard to get at anyway. Okay. I'm not done here though. Let me make sure. Don't see the keys. I was about to say, I'm not gonna put that, put that shit right there. I think we'll be hitting in the damn in the horns. He always kept his favorite rod in this special ready-to-go bag to protect it. I suspect this jump. What were you hiding in this bag that's so important you had it locked up? Yo, break that shit, bro. Over a thousand combinations. 
Jesus, so I gotta find a combination. All right. Bug never was the social type. Just like me. With Nick gone, I guess we both lost our best friend. Okay. Oh, is there numbers on any of this? I don't think so. Possible hiding spot? We got... Found that key. No? Yeah? In the mouth? Ooh, look at that. Oh, this is a damn painting. I thought I was a real fish. <laughs> Stupid. What a fishy hiding spot, Nick. Always did love your cliches. Okay, now is there somewhere that I can look that will show me this combination? Or is it in the next room? Man, bugs certainly grew up faster than I realized. Okay, let's go. Let's go in here. It's locker, I mean. Let's check it out. Weapons, drugs, college flyers, journal article. Let's see what this is. Y'all can, can pause. There you go. There you go. Just some story about a lady. Showed some love. You know. Didn't kick somebody out. They were supposed to get kicked out. Blah, 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 blah. Definitely go back and read it in editing, though, for sure. Remember, Caterpillar. Red, green, blue, yellow. Remember that. to me it has to be the same D he was talking to in his emails all right I think I went through everything here like many people Nick kept a few guns but never at home and always locked up said that was it but was that it Nick was trying to find ways to get Joan in college. It's gotten so expensive. We didn't look at the drugs yet. These are pretty heavy duty painkillers. Very addictive. Joan wasn't just acting up. Kathy has a problem. Would you probably use them now? She a damn junkie, bro. Bad news bears. All right, Sam, well, you lied. You said we went through everything, and then apparently we didn't. Found clues. Is there anything else? Check the outside here real quick. It won't go too far. What's that trunk right there, though? Tell a three-year-old kid about Tardigrade Man? And this is what happens. It's hard to grade. The hell kind of. What the hell kind of name? I don't care about that. What's this? I ain't trying to have a seat just yet. Let's go put these clues together. Yeah, time to relax, bro. We got murders and stuff happening, robberies and break-ins and whatnot. Tripping. An article by Anna about a place called The Cove. 
Seems it's kind of a commune for outcasts just outside of Basswood. That's the first letter we read. <clears throat> Keep forgetting you gotta read it and look at it, because it, it takes it in a totally different way. If D met Nick on the we day he died, he could be the last person who saw him alive. Read that one. We read this, but let me see if there's anything different about it. If Nick kept this, it means it's important. Just have to figure out why. It's got something to do with this coat. I feel like this definitely got something to do with it because it got the arrows. Red, green, blue, yellow. And it had right, left, up, down. Those colors match the colors on the controller. I don't know if that's coincidence or not. I'm just saying. Yo, found it immediately. It's a caterpillar on this wall. Next note mentioned a caterpillar. I think I just found it. What does it mean, though? Red, green, blue, red, yellow. The colors on the caterpillar. So I gotta go red, green, blue, red, yellow. Red, green, blue, red, yellow. Brain, that brain. What is it? Red, green, blue, green, yellow? Red, green, blue. What? Red, green, blue, red, yellow. Red, green. There, there it is. Red, green, blue, red, yellow. 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 Get in there. Let's see what we have here. What we got, Samuel? Samuel No Jackson. We got some cash, money, some drugs, a file. Let's check this file out. Nick was gathering at the cove, and that's how he found his informant, D. Hmm. It's the person he met the night he mm. died. I just need to figure out who it is. You do, bro. These arm rest down a little bit. Okay. A little comfortable. That's a lot of cash. More than Nick could make in a decade. Opioids. From D? Nick, were you looking into drug trafficking? Okay. Check these files out. Who the hell is Tyler? Tyler Gilliam. Justin Reynolds. This the little twitchy kid I was talking about. I'm gonna have to read this on Twitchy, even when sober, high strung, and obviously, 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 obviously. obviously Whatever, y'all. Dislike by the Cove. Asked not to be named in Anna's article because of his father, who runs a shipping company. Smarter than he looks, or as dumb as he acts. Still hard to say. Both. 127, still using. Yes, who is the dealer? Tyler Lynette, J.R. Kayla, Dickie. Richard is Dickie. It's a nickname. Dickie sold drugs to Tyler. Find out who his supplier is. So, Richard is Dickie. Tyler Lynette, Jr., J.R., I mean, Junior Kayla, Dickie sold drugs to Tyler. This is Tyler. Tyler Gilliam, mid 20, sees himself as the coach's protector. Very defensive of Lynette. 127, Tyler's interview with Anna was heartbreaking. He was bad off, so bad in fact that I was legitimately surprised to find him alive the next time I visited the cove. He certainly wouldn't have been the first member of the group to be claimed by an OD in the middle of the night. Very aggressive, been in and out of jail for most of his life, usually for assault. Don't antagonize, clean sister interview. Where did he get his drugs? Dickie keeps asking about Anna into cooking. It's Justin Fella. 123, JR interviewed by Anna, but didn't make it into the article. Late 30s, not personable, ex minor. 
Junior has been living on the road, working wherever he can as a handyman. And when he came to base with his miner, after the mine closed, he was arrested for drug possession, staying at the cove. Now that he's out, didn't have anywhere else to go, keeps to himself, trying to get clean. From Michigan to go smoking. Uh, JR is with Justin Reynolds, collects hubcaps, has a Winchester in his truck. Used to live in his truck, rolls on cigarettes, Tommy House, still uses occasionally, loves camo. Alright, so we know, we gotta find out who D is, not who sold the drugs. So D is obviously Dicky. Duh. Richard, aka Dicky. I got lost in the story. Looks like I found who I was looking for. You already said that was him before. So that's what it was. Nick suspected a drug ring flourished here in Basswood after the mine closed. He had an informant, Dicky. Probably a low-level drug dealer, and he also had a lot of cash on hand, more than a reporter should. Yeah, all twenties in there. Dicky set up a meeting with Nick, and now Nick's dead. Dicky may be the only person who knows what really happened. I need to find him. He lives at this place, the Cove, or he did. He banged you up with a brick too. Anna wrote that article on it. She has to know where it is. Best finally left. Did you find anything at the fish spot? Yes, do you know where Cove is? The commune thing on the outskirts of town. Not big on outsiders. Uh, I'll arrive soon. I didn't want to take her with me. <clears throat> So I never did go out here and take this seat. Maybe to trigger something. Some kind of memory or whatnot. Can't go down there, Jay. Gotta go around, bro. Go ahead and look at this. Now, this record is fraudulent. Nick stretched his fish to beat mine. Petty. Whoever killed Nick, I probably know him. Grew up with them. Even if you don't know them, they know you. Kill the camera one time, y'all. Yeah. Nick, Dennis, gone. A stone cold killer walks the streets of Basswood. Things like this can really make you feel isolated, make you realize that at the end of the day, you're in this alone. It's kind of messed up. But I feel like you've been alone the whole time, my dude. I don't think I need to look around in there no more. I think I can just bounce. Bess took my statement about the break-in. She didn't mention you. It won't be long before someone finds Dennis. Then they'll be looking for me. We need to stay focused on tracking down Dickie. He was Nick's informant, and he's our only lead. I owe it to Joan to find the truth. I'm sure Dickie's still there. He had no other place to go. What are you two doing? The longer you run from the police, the worse it'll be when they catch up with you. Explain everything. Show them all you found. That's what a sane Fuck. person does. I was trying to hear what he said. So, how should we handle finding Dickie? Do whatever it takes, play it by ear. I think we need to do what it takes. I don't have any great ideas, but I know I'll do what I have to Let's do. Let's go. <laughs> At least we're equally clueless. There's comfort in that. Yeah. I hate feeling like the only one in the dark. The dark isn't as spooky when someone else is with you. We just need to be careful. And look out for each other. This town has like 17 people in it. You've met the killer. I'm not saying you have to run and hide. Just be careful about the lions. That's enough. What's enough? Oh, shit. Uh, enough of a plan. I think we have enough of a plan. Do we? I just get so angry that someone did this. 
killed my friends, invaded my home. It's the worst feeling. Like part of my soul has been stolen. I feel like what he was saying ain't nothing new I was gonna hear, bro. I need to take back from them what they took. I need to find <clears throat> some small piece of feeling safe again. If that even makes any sense. It makes sense. Don't let them get to you, though. Letting that despair <clears throat> break you down? That's how whoever did all this Factual. Works. Hiding crime behind tragedy. We have to stay clear-headed to see through it. Yeah, you're right. I think. Then I think something else ten seconds later. Because you've got this. Easy. Look at you. So together. You got so drunk, you've forgotten anything that could have been remotely useful. Your friends are turning up dead. You're getting brained by birds. Bro, I already know all that. That's not fair. Shut up. Sam. I... Sorry. I didn't... I just... I didn't mean it that way. Don't. Don't take all of this out on me. Sam, why you gotta keep... So you're just gonna keep telling me off? Disregard my advice. Well, if you think you know better, Sam, no reason for me to linger. Enjoy your little investigation without me, Sam. Don't get us killed, okay? Here. You wouldn't help me no way. Huh? I kind of feel hey, bad that he's gone now. The cove. We're here. Damn, right. bro. Right. right. Just shut up for five minutes. Like you fucking telling me I'm all. I don't. I don't understand what his point was. Like, I know all this, bro. I'm currently investigating this shit. We ain't going to the police. You know, like, so, what are you talking about? Why are you? Sure, you want to keep going? Well, I'm fine. Let's go. Yeah, I'm. I'm fine. I'm fine. You're sure. You can rest in the car while I ask around. I'll manage. Don't worry about me. Let's keep this interesting, baby. What you talking about? Let's go. Grown ass man. Who the hell are you? Anna. What are you doing here? This is a big Anna. ass nigga here, boy. You look healthy. You ain't the only one surprised I'm still alive. Your face Who's all beat up. Sam, big dog. I'm Sam. Was I talking Damn. to Damn! This is Sam. He's a friend. Yeah, lucky for him or I'd have thrown his ass out already. So what are you two here for? Go ahead, Anna. It's a long story. We'd like to have a word with Dickie. Yeah, Go ahead, Anna. Like... Talk, spit your shit. What do you do now? Look, just talk to Lynette. She makes the calls on her land. Sam ain't got no hood Thank pass. You. Really? Yeah. I know. Nowhere. You can't go nowhere, Sam. Is he always like this? Uh, he's pretty much the gatekeeper around here. Interviewed him last time I came by. I'm gonna talk to Lynette. Sam, we... She's kind of in charge. We just read the file. Oh, see what I can find. Okay. But be careful. People only end up here if they have nothing left to lose. I don't care about none of that. We're about to run through this one. Ow. What are you Watch doing? It. The place is full of wood shavings. Why do you have an open flame? I don't remember asking for your opinion. Sam, you fucked out, bro. You have no I'm Kayla. sense of like want? rapport with people, bro. You enjoy whittling? Do you know Ethan? Of course she enjoys whittling. She know Dickie. That's that's a little pokey. You know Ethan? What's up? Kayla. You know Ethan? Yeah. Yeah, I knew him. You're his sister, right? I was. So, you gonna tell me what you're here for? I'm looking for a guy named Dickie. I don't know where he is and don't care. He might be off with Asked this anyway. stupid quad bike thing for all I know. No, that is the ugliest tattoo thing. I've ever seen. Loud. Goes off road. Has four wheels. Makes you look like an asshole. Occasionally leaks gasoline and would have burned down the whole camp. What is up with those four Tyler rat tails? Sorry, ass with his fire extinguisher. Well, I'll see you around. I don't feel like you have to. Dickie must have one of those off-road quads. It could still be here right now. 
I need more info to figure out where Dicky is. Yo, these shit's dope. She get busy. What's up, bro? Tyler, right? Jackass, right? Damn! Some people call me that, yeah. Huh. I'll bet. Uh, I don't want to ask this man nothing. I don't want to ask him anything. How do you end up in a place like this? None of your god. That was the best. That was the best option I had. I didn't like. So I gotta ask this man this stuff. How did you and Anna meet? You're not the type she normally hangs out with. Damn. Maybe Sam. you are not the type she normally hangs out with. You ever consider that? Trust me, I have. Just tell me where Dicky is, and I'll leave. Either that, or you'll leave when I break your face. Look, Anna's a friend. She spent some time down here with us to do that interview. Told my story, did good by me, by us. And that guy that came after her, Nick, he's solid. Came down here three or four times. Taught me a great recipe for bass. Bass. But you, you're just some asshole. Man, you don't even know me, bro. Dickie's one of ours. Don't think you're getting anywhere near his trailer. So beat it before I break your knees. <laughs> We have a moment for a talk. Bro, I know all about it. Bro, golly, Walter. It's the huggy dude. Man, I ain't replying to you. What are you talking about? Clock's ticking. Cops will start looking for me soon. So Dicky is in one of the trailers. That narrows down my search. I'm getting there. Just need a bit more info to close in on Dicky. Sup? You a friend of Kayla's or something? Name's J.R. It's a Justin fella. Wait. You're that fucking reporter. Nobody Bro, likes you, man. Jesus fucking up Christ. everyone's lives. <laughs> That's a real talent. Former miner. Get the fuck out of my face. Red the file, bro. Or what? What happens if I don't? I shatter your fucking face. You keep bothering me, and I'm gonna stop being nice. Give him hands. I don't like. I don't like him. Probably fucked up my investigation. Sometimes I just want to be an asshole, bro. I can't help this. Possible hideout. Dicky could be here, but I need to be sure. Every second counts. Can I go up here? I need to find out where Dickie's okay. hiding. He's here. Thought somewhere. I saw another trailer up top. <clears throat> Let's go. Oh, what's this one? How do I get? Oh shit! Can I get over there? Nope. Dicky could be here, but I need to be sure. Every second counts. So what are you saying? I'm gonna check every spot first. I feel like he definitely need a trailer to do the standing by. Dicky could be here, but I need to be sure. Every second counts. Was going well it's just I don't know hard it doesn't get easier oh this is Sam he's a friend we used to date awkward ass man that much is painfully so obvious. awkward G is it <laughs> yeah it kind of is I'm Lynette what are you here for Sam uh... 
gotta find Dickie. We're looking for Dickie. Yes, Anna told me. She's not gonna help us find him. I do not throw people to the wolves. And you, Sam, are a wolf. You've never had any trouble with him. This is my land. All those who have lost their home are welcome to it. As long as they can follow a few simple rules. Even if Dickie lives on the fringe of our community, he is one of us. All he wants is to be left That's alone. That's loyalty. I would think you of all people. Man, man's confronted me in a pharmacy. He hit me in the head with a brick. What did he want? He took an interest in my people. He wanted to know their stories. Such as? Sam. Well, the long, sad stories most people do not want to hear. We all stumble during our lives. Knowing how we fall and how some make it out can provide guidance for the future. Don't you think? What about opioids? Did he say anything about that? There are no drugs here, Samuel. To stay, you must remain clean. We have some drugs from D. I'll go now. Thanks for indulging me. Naturally. So Dickie lives here, but his place should be isolated from the others. I know enough to make an educated guess. Dickie's gotta be in one of these places. It's the one over here. I didn't even see that one, but it ain't that one because it ain't isolated enough. That shit's isolated. Oh, there yeah, Like, that's the only one. Even that one is close as hell. No quad. And it's right next to another mobile home. It's what not here. What do you mean? Oh, the fucking quad. Wait a minute. I've never seen the quad at none of these. Is that a quad right there? Look like it. Quad. <clears throat> isolated. Someone lives here. That's where Dick that is ain't hiding. That ain't that isolated. Time to pay him a visit. It's not that isolated, my G. It's like right there. I only know you by reputation, and what I know I don't like. You don't get to just gallivant around here I have you damn well please. So back the hell off, or I will fuck you up. Should have been nicer to this dude. Hey, I don't want any trouble, just sorry. I should kick your ass out of principle. Hey man, this guy ain't worth it. Just forget him. But if he doesn't get the message soon, I'll help you work him over. Got it. Got it. See how quick I go from warm to smoke to not warm to smoke? I'm gonna get past these two if I want to reach Dickie. I need to get them to look away from his trailer. Around Kayla's tent is the most efficient spot for a distraction. It's at the opposite end of the camp. They'd have their backs turned to me. But I still need a place to hide. They'd suspect me right away. Cabin stands right in the middle of the camp. Far enough from everyone for them to not notice me. Close enough to reach Dickie before they come back. it would be my best shot. I have a plan. All that remains is to figure out the details. It's deep enough. Could squeeze in here. Okay. If they're in a panic, they might not see me hiding under this. Okay. Shovel. Hose, bucket. Nothing useful, but there's enough room to hide in here. Where else can we hide possibly? So what's our distraction?
Okay, now we gotta create a diversion. How do we do that? Oh, we got us another clue. Hold up. With all the flammable lacquer and varnish, this thing catching fire is sure to divert attention. It's out of the way, so no one should get hurt, but there will be lots of chaos. I just need to work out the exact details. Well, it's kind of shit. That's a piece of art, bro. It won't take long for the fire to reach those, and when it does, they'll go up in flames in a second. You need to account for that. These shavings would be perfect kindling. Got some matches right here, I see. If I lit the wood shavings, the varnish on the statue would catch fire. Varnish. Cans empty. Probably used on that statue. Very flammable stuff. The statue will be collateral damage once the fire spreads. No other this option. Is, this is kind of fucked up. It's everything, right? These shavings would be perfect okay, okay, kindling. Okay, okay. I can get the fire going, but it won't do any good if they put it out right away. I need to check for ways they could put it out. The fire needs to burn long enough to distract, but small enough to be manageable. You know, set this whole, this whole is... place go up in flames. Bro, I feel like that's what's gonna happen. This is such a bad idea. So they could put it out with this sand over here. Not a concern. Sand is effective against fire, but not that effective. Okay. Water hose. I sabotage Lynette's old hose. She'll have to find something else to put the fire out with. I saw a fire extinguisher in here earlier. If Tyler gets it, the fire might not burn long enough for me to reach Dickie. If I hid Tyler's keys, it'd take him longer to get the fire extinguisher from his trunk. I've got everything I need, but I won't be able to do it by myself. I need Anna's help. Alright. How do we get this man keys, though? Come here, guy. Hey, uh, Anna, can I have a quick sidebar? I found him. Where? The goon squad won't let me near it. Lynette isn't going to be any better. They look after their own. As they should, as they I can should. Get there, but I'll need your help. What exactly are you planning? Distraction to get to Dicky. Setting the bear statue outside Kayla's tent on fire would work, but it's critical I wait for Anna to act first, or I won't have enough time. Then I can use a match to ignite the splinters and get the fire started. I'll have to get out of there before Lynette and Kayla can close in on me. After that, I'll hide in the cabin. Tyler and JR will leave to put the fire out. Give me a window of opportunity to run to Dickie's trailer unnoticed. Bro, did I not get the keys? Tyler will immediately run to his van to get the fire extinguisher. If he does get it, the fire won't burn for long. Damn, I should have tried to get his keys before. Missed that opportunity. Behind the curtain, behind the closet, in the closet, under the table. I might in the closet. So what's what's. What a killer fire first. 
fire extinguisher or a water hose? Only thing I can say is that I know water on a lot of fires, especially since we got the fucking varnish shit, can make the fire spread. An extinguisher is made for like chemical fires and stuff. So we're gonna hide the van's keys. Okay. Where do I come out? I have to join your last to help. Let's go. differently based on what Anna does. I need to keep it in mind. Hmm. Let me just say once alone. I'm not gonna change what she do because I feel like the fire extinguisher is gonna make shit worse. The fire extinguisher is gonna mess with my time. <clears throat> This has got to be it. People would move differently based on what Anna does. What do you mean? We need to keep it in mind. So we need everybody over there fighting a the fire. That don't sound like a good idea, bro. I'm gonna go back to this. I'm gonna go back to after Junior last to help. Because the other ones have no reason to. Everybody's gonna be paying attention to the fire. Oh, you see that? So that changes. Okay. Under the table ain't gonna work. Behind the curtain. What happens if I go behind a curtain? This fucking shoe's gonna poke, poke out or something? Oh, okay. Once alone. See, I didn't know they replayed the whole thing like this before you make a decision. That's it. That's it.
they gonna know they gonna they should know it was him because he shows up and shit randomly start catching fire. I'm blaming him on the top. No one will see me get to Dicky. I need to time everything carefully. I want to get one shot. Big brain plays, Jay. You'll have to be cautious. I need you to sabotage the water hose. Unscrew the cap where it attaches so there's no pressure. Okay, but why? Do you trust me? Yes. And you then trust me. Make her a co-conspirator. Go. Hurry! Hurry! Bro, I hate that he burn I hate that he burned her bear down though. I guess it's all my fault. Yeah, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Caleb. Damn. For you, we need to talk. Oh no! Look, I'm real sorry. I clocked you and shit. Clock me? You were the one that broke into Anna's house. You took something from Nick's computer. What was it? Where is it? I didn't know what was gonna happen, man. I swear. I'm a nobody, all right. I'm just a guy trying to get by. That's all. I just want to take care of my mom's and live life, man. And I've been trying to find a way out all my life. I just agreed to talk to him for just like a quote or something. I didn't know he was gonna put so much together. Was nah. I don't have time. What did you steal? When you trying to hear it? About this article, about the dealing and the, the drugs and names of dealers, and sellers, buyers, everything. I had to. Or I was gonna be next. You gotta believe me. What'd you do with them? Where are they? I don't have them, man. I left the stick at the dead drop up at Makeout Point. He'll pick it up soon, and then it's done. No proof, nothing. Who's coming for it? Tell me who's coming for it. My boss, Declan. His name is Declan. Declan the cop, right? Declan. Yeah, the cop. You know him. Everyone knows oh, him. Oh, shit. Oh, man, I'm totally fucked now. When he hears I snitched again, I'm fucking done. But how was I supposed to know Nick was going to stir shit up? Are you saying he's involved in Nick's death? Tell me. Come on. Just let me go. Oh my god. Please, I already told you everything. Getting juicy. Yo, just let me go, all right? I really gotta leave town before nah. he finds me. You're not going anywhere until you tell, tell me, me some more. So? Oh, hell, man. Declan made me set up a meet with Nick, all right? I, I thought they were just gonna talk his shit. Nick freaked out when he saw Declan. He, he tried to bail. But Declan caught up and hit him behind the head. Then Nick dropped, man. He dropped like Damn, that. bro. Declan said he didn't mean to. She said it was an accident and shit. He killed Nick. I didn't know, man. You gotta believe me. I never wanted... Man, he didn't... He didn't say... Hey, ass wife. Should've known. Damn firebug. I'm gonna kick the shit out of you. Sam. Sam, we have to get out of here. Shut up. We out. Come on. You fucking coward. Show me, give me my rifle. We out. I ain't got time to talk to these niggas. I ain't got time to talk to y'all. I ain't got time to talk. We ain't talking. After this scene, I'm ending it, y'all. Probably be one more episode after this. This is going to be a long one. This is a long None one. None of it does. Why would Declan do that? He was always a stand-up cop. Now he's a crime boss? No time to think about it. Right now, we need to get to that dead drug. Nick probably gathered enough evidence to reveal what Declan was up to. Our word against his won't cut it. That stick is the only way we'll take him down. 
Or maybe you could just stay out of this? Declan's trying to save his skin. If you go against him on that promontory, you'll be trapped in a corner. This isn't a game. This isn't a puzzle. And you're dealing with a man I'm gonna, I'm gonna whose go-to solutions to problems has been to kill them away. Sure. Remember what you promised Joe. Anna will not be safe where you're going. You can't bring Nick back, but you can still save yourself and Anna. Breathe. Focus. Think it through. Declan's already killed two people. Sam, I know it's been a rough day, but you're freaking me out. Stop zoning out. We're just about there. Stop and telling me what to, to do, lady. Our next steps. Next steps? At a place where someone might put a bullet through your head. No, that's too dramatic. It'll probably be something quiet. Simple. All right, I don't need to hear all that. Stop it. I'm not doing anything. Other than trying to save your life, you're not thinking clearly. What are you looking at? You're focused on finding the facts and not focused on the very real dangers. You need to focus on the road, not on whatever daydream you lost. Bro, if everybody don't shut up. You're the one that needs to stop. Sam, you're going too fast. You need to stop. Oh my god. Sam, stop it. Sam, Sam, Sam stop. There's a turret. Stop. stop. Sam, stop. 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 stop the car. Woo. Sam, are you okay? You nearly got us killed. I need I need a moment. Take your moment, but make it quick. We're already at the promontory. We need to find that dead drop before Declan gets here. Yo, let my man breathe. We need to talk. Yes, Sam, it's time. Ah, uh, what's happening? Sam, I can't. Where are you going? Get back here! I'm trying, but it's not working. Ah! Yo, what's going on? No! No! Ah! I'm control of my own mind. Where are you? Can you hear me? Yo. We ended it right there. I'm sorry. We even found out some shit. I'm not even gonna hold y'all too long with the outro because I'm I'm like I'm about I might have to keep playing this and just see what happens. This shit's fire, bro. Shit getting juicy. So the cop killed him. So the cop killed Dennis too. He probably had to, bro. Yo, I'm gonna see y'all next episode. Let me know y'all feel about this episode in the comments. Let me know if it was too long. Let, let just let me know. I want to hear y'all thoughts, man. Hit the like if you like. Hit the hit the dislike if you didn't like it. You know, be my guest. Hit the sub if you're new, though, and hit the bell so you know when I'm posting vids. You know what I'm saying? And I'm out, man. Peace, love, strength. Y'all be good.